All right, good morning. Uh, this class uh, in lesson is for my Algebra 1 class. Uh, what we're going to start talking about today uh, will be probability and statistics unit. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off with some simple uh, terminology that everybody should be aware of uh, throughout your math career. You should have started talking about this uh, as you entered uh, uh, grade school, uh, or excuse me, middle school. Uh, so the first thing we want to talk about is what's called measures of central tendency. Alright, measures of central tendency. And even though I'm not here, you need to copy this down and put this into your notes because you're going to use this for a reference uh, for your homework uh, and your quizzes and tests. Alright, so first thing, let's talk about uh, what we got here. Measure. We're going to be talking about measurements. Okay, and then central tendency. All right, central is a location. All right, so we're going to be talking about measurements of a central location and tendency, the amount of times that something might occur. All right, so basically, the three measures of central tendency that we're going to discuss today is the mean, median, and the mode. Basically, I call them the three M's, the three measures of central tendency, mean, median, mode. And all of these are terms that you should have heard before somewhere within your math career. All right, now, let's first talk about the mean of a data set. All right, the mean of a data set. Basically, what the mean of a data set is, is the average value of a data set. Alright? Average. Alright? I know you've all heard of average. Your average test score. Your average quiz score. So, what the mean is, it's the average value of a given data set. Whatever data set we're talking about. Whether we're talking about the number of push-ups you can do. The number of setups you can do. Your average quiz score. Your average test scores. Alright? A lot of things that we deal with uh, in the world uh, on a daily basis deals with what's called averages, i.e. the mean. Okay, now, you should know how and understand how do you calculate the mean of a data set. Alright, well to get the mean of a data set, basically, you sum all of your entries. Sum means you add. You're going to take all of the data values in your data set and you're going to add them up. And then what you're going to do is you're going to divide that by the number in your data set. You're going to divide that by the total number of entries in your data set. So let's say you had six quizzes for quarter four. So to get your average quiz score, you would add up all six of your quizzes, and then you would divide that by six. And that would give you your average um, quiz score. All right, now, there's two uh, types of notation uh, that you're going to see. X with a bar over it is the one that we're going to be dealing with. And basically, that deals with what's called a sample mean, all right, a sample mean. And the uh, Greek letter mu, all right, and that's how you read it, mu, that deals with what's called a population mean, all right, a population mean. We're, gonna, we're not going to be dealing with this uh, in Algebra 1. We're going to be dealing with X with a bar, what we're going to be dealing with is sample means. Alright, sample means. Now, again, to get your sample mean, you're take, going to take the sum of all your values and you're going to divide it by n. Alright, you're going to take the sum of all your values and divide it by n. And there's going to be several different ways in which I'm going to give you the data. Okay, I could give you the data in a list. Uh, I'm going to be giving you data in what's called a dot plot. I'll give you data what's called a stem and leaf plot. We're going to talk about each one of those individually. All right. 
So that's how you get the mean. You take and you add up all of your values all right, in your data set, and then you divide it by n, the total number of entries in your data set. And that will give you your mean of your data set, all right, that uh, average. So that's the first uh, measure of central tendency, mean. Again, it's the average of a data set. The second measure of central tendency is median. Okay, a lot of people get uh, confused mean and median. They are not the same thing. Mean is an arithmetic average, all right? Median is a central location, all right? It's a central value. Now, not only is it a central value, but to get the median, it's the central value of an ordered distribution. All right? So the, the median is the central value of an ordered distribution. When I say order, you're going to order from smallest to largest. All right? From smallest to largest. Okay? Now, the median. The median is the central value of an ordered distribution. Now, I'm going to give you an example of an ordered distribution. Very simple data set. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay? One, two, three, four, and five. Now, there's an odd number in this data set. There's one, two, three, four, five values. Okay? When your data set has an odd number of entries, I, in this example, we have five, and they're ordered from smallest to largest. The middle number of an odd data set is the median of the data set. Okay? So it's nice when your data uh, set is, a uh, is an odd set of numbers because once you order them, the median is always your middle number. And again, that's for an odd number data set. Now, let's say we don't have an odd number of data set, but let's say we have an even number of data set. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now we have six entries in our data set. Okay? Well, if your data set has an even number of entries, then to get your median, you're going to take the two middle numbers and you're going to sum them and then you're going to divide by two. So if you have an even number data set, you're going to take the two middle numbers for the example that we're talking about here, my two middle numbers are 3 and 4, and notice my median is equal to 3 plus 4 divided by 2. Well, 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. So that would be the median of this data set will be three and a half. Notice three and a half, that number is not in my data set. Okay? Not in my data set. So again, when your data set has an odd number of entries and you order them from smallest to largest, then your median will be the middle value. When your data set is an even number of entries, you're going to take the sum of the two middle numbers and then divide that by two. Okay? So there's two of the three M's, mean and median. Now, sometimes it's much better uh, and useful to use the median to describe a set of data versus a mean. And we're going to talk about that down the road because you have things called outliers. All right, outliers. And what an outlier will do, it will skew your data one way or the other. It'll make the mean unusually large or the mean unusually small, depending on the location of your outlier. But we'll talk about that down the road in a future lesson. All right, so mean and median. The next one that we're going to talk about is the easiest of the three M's, is the mode of a data set. All right, the mode of a data set. 
And basically, it is the value that appears most frequently. Again, the mode is the uh, value that appears most frequently in a data set. All right. Now, mean, median, mode. All right. Mode, the value that appears most often. Now, if you have a data set like this, one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. The mode of this uh, the mode of this data set will be five because it's the number that appears most often. All right, it's repeated twice. So you can have a data set that has one mode, you can have a data set as this example where my mode is actually 1 and 4 because they both tie in the number of times that they appear most often. 1 appears 3 times, 4 appears 3 times, therefore my mode is 1 and 4. Or you could have 64, 68, 73, 92, 98. Here's a data set in which I don't have any number that is repeated. All right, I don't have any number that is repeated most often. Therefore, this would be an example where there is no mode, okay? Because no number uh, appears most often in this data set. All right, no number appears most often in a data set. All right, now, your first assignment out of this unit is going to be find the mean, median, and mode. Alright, the mean, median, and mode. And at this time, uh, I want uh, everybody to grab a calculator, because you're going to need a calculator in order to uh, calculate the mean uh, for the following data set. So everybody take a minute, go get a calculator from the bin, I'll give you a minute to do that. And what we're going to do is, I'm going to give you a problem where I give you a data set of the heights of men. All right, the heights of men. 65, and this is in terms of inches, all right? 65 inches, 69, 67, and again, you're putting this in your notes. 68, 66, 64, 69, uh, 75, 67, 65, 73, 72, 72, 65, 72, and 68. Okay? So here's our data set. And again, I will give the data set values to you. And what we have here is we have a data set. The first thing I would do is calculate the total number of entries. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I have 15 different numbers in my data set. 15 is nice because what 15 is, it's an odd number of data set, which will be nice when we go to calculate um, the uh, median. All right, so the first thing. We're going to calculate the mean of my data set. Now, to get the mean, I'm going to sum all the values 
I'm going to sum all the values, and then I'm going to divide it by n. Well, my total number of entries is 15. So now, take your calculators, and what you're going to do is, you're going to take your calculators and you're going to sum the number of entries in your uh, calculator. So you're going to take 65 plus 69 plus 67 plus 68, so forth, so on. All right. So, I'm going to take my calculator and I'm going to enter these numbers, 65 plus 69 plus 67, 65 plus 69 plus 67. You should be doing this right now as well. 68 plus 66 plus 64 plus that was 69. Let me just make sure that sure that was 69. Yes, it was plus 75 plus 67 plus 68. Now the nice thing about my calculator, I can go back and look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I do have all 15 numbers entered. And I get a total of 1,025. All right? 1,025. And I'm going to divide that, whoops, I'm going to divide that by 15 in order to now get my mean. So divide that by 15 gives me a mean value of 68.33 repeating. And I would write that as 68.3 repeating. Now, this is a good example. All we're going to do in here uh, in Algebra 1, we're going to round to the nearest tenth. So the first decimal place is where you go to round the mean. Okay? Any questions on that? All right. Good, because you can't ask me. If you're going to ask me, you have to email me. Or you can ask Mrs. Wood. Mrs. Wood will be sure to give you the correct answer. All right, so that's the mean. I'm going to skip ahead right now, and I'm going to do the mode. Now I'm going to say the median for last. You're going to see why. Well, the mode is the number that appears most often. All right? Well, going through our data set, 65 appears once, two, three times. So I'm just going to write down 65 three times. 69, one, two, so 65 still my mode. 67 appears twice. 68 appears twice. Um, 66 appears once. 64 appears once, um, 75 appears once, 72 appears once, so 65 appears more than any other number. So my mode is 65, okay, my mode is 65. Now, median, again, I get my median by it's the central value of an ordered distribution. So I gotta reorder these numbers from smallest to largest. So I'm gonna write them in order from smallest to largest. The smallest number seems to be in our data set, seems to be 64. So 64. And then if you notice what I'm getting ready to do, I mark that number out to make sure that I've used it. Then I got one, Two, three sixty-fives. Sixty-five, sixty-five, sixty-five. All right? Then I have one sixty-six. 
Then I have 167. Uh, 68. I have 168, and that's it. No, I have two 68s. 68 and 68. Okay. Um, after 68, I have 69 and 69. And the nice thing about this, as you're doing this, if you th made a mistake on your mode, then when you're ordering them down, or excuse me, you're ordering them from smallest to largest, kind of will clue you in to make sure you got the mode correct. So 69, 69, the next is 70, looks to be 72 and 72. Okay. Uh, next after 72 is a 73. And, ooh, hold on a minute. Did I write down my fault? I, now, again, great, uh, I actually didn't mean to do this, but great uh, mistake on my part that I noticed. I have two 67s here. I didn't write down two 67s. So that is going to uh, change my median if I didn't have down both. So 67 and 68. So I noticed that because I did not have 67 marked out. Unintentional mistake, but hopefully a good learning lesson for everybody out there. All right, 73. And then I think the last one is 75. Okay. And then what I do is... I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I have 15 numbers. All right, 15 numbers. Now, since I have 15 numbers, it's an odd number data set. Since I have 15 numbers, my middle number is going to be the eighth number. How do I know it's the eighth number? Well, if I have 15 numbers, okay, then that means I got seven that are below my middle value and seven that are above my middle value. Seven plus seven is 14, plus the middle one is 15. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The eighth number is my median. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers below. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers above. So, my Median is 68. So my median is 68. All right? So that's how you calculate the mean median mode of a data set. All right? That's example one. Example two, I'm going to give you the data in a little different variation. I'm going to give you what's called a dot plot. All right? And we'll talk about... Uh, plots here in a, uh, a little different manner here shortly. All right, now, uh, this represents the age of presidents. All right, the age of presidents at inauguration. 